A smart Retopia is an amazing tool, and let's really explore and dive in into it. I mean, I just clicked on that, and it, I just drag a line, right? And I drag some line, and it will try to smooth it out. You can see the simplification factor will decide how smooth the line will be. And then I can, uh, let me do one along the mesh like that, and we, then I'll do another one in the middle. And now we have a bunch of spans that we can modify and do so we've done so we do one patch and it's good to be mindful of how many how many spans you have so we, we do that and i at any point i can move these guys around you know just to tinker it a little bit then hit apply so i can see it got symmetrized across the um, the hood so i actually can see that my symmetry line wasn't in place, so I just drag it across and push it right here. So I hit apply. Then I want to do area around the wheel. And same here, I can just drag it around. And you can see we're getting really nice shapes here, like really easy. So I'll just push it around a little bit and then drag around another line. You can see it's definitely not looking great. I'm just doing it with my mouth, so then I have to uh, tweak it by hand. And you can see we've got a nice looking rim in just a matter of seconds. And I'm trying to drag that thing, and it's okay. Now I've got it. And I can always uh, go and Trick it by hand, right? So I have to pick a different tool, but just drag it in, push it around. So then you want to do these kind of patches, and you have you can't really create a whole thing across. I mean, we can do something like this. So connect across. And then we want to match the amount of edge loop that we have on both sides. And hopefully they match, but I think they, they we can match it on that side. It doesn't really match on that side, unfortunately. But if I hit enter, we kind of get in that piece. But let's add some spans here. And what I've noticed is that sometimes you actually, it's better if you remove the sculpt before you press create the patch. Let's click apply. Kind of makes it. But say I remove the sculpt and click Apply, you can actually get a cleaner mesh uh, in between. It will not try to over snap to the surface. Sometimes it kind of really bugs out, to be honest. So you have to be a little bit careful. And here, same thing is like we can try manually connect these guys together. And you can see I really probably need an extra edge loop. So to create an extra edge loop, I just go into one of those say points and polygons, drag the edge, create that edge loop, and allow these guys to snap uh, by hand. This one and legs an edge loop here. So, so we go. So we are getting some really complex shapes here. Again, in a matter of seconds. So once we get to this. But we kind of have to be careful how we approach it and we have to calculate how many edge loops we want to run across. So this one is just like two and then I go for spans. I put a whole bunch of them across, right? So if I press enter, kind of really not really snapping well. So I want to increase the weld tolerance and hit apply. So now it got a way better welding across. So hit apply again. Now it's way too much. So I'll drop, drop it to 19. Hit apply. So now we've got interesting stuff going on. And then I want to start directing the flow from this patch to this patch. And it kind of jumped across a little bit too much. Okay, there we go. So we increase the spans. We can increase them to two. Increase these guys. Do more and it doesn't really do much i think it might be bugging out on me right now and i just undo yeah it was just bugging out so i had to click apply and get it done 
then hit apply. You can see it's welding really well. I think I've put one too many. Hit, hit apply. Yeah, there we go. You got a new patch welded um, just greatly. And then we have our bottom part down there. So here we need to put how many? One, two, three, like three, three spans across, um, two at the top. Just, let me just drag this thing around. So my brush was kind of too small, so now I'll right click and make it bigger. So now I can move this shape around a little bit better. Because I didn't want to move just before. So looking pretty sweet, so press enter. And I just carry on with that uh, building the vehicle. And with some tools, say if I go to the brush tool and I make the brush bigger and press shift, I can smooth this stuff out. You can see my welding kind of overdid certain parts, so I have to really go manually to fix it. So you want to work with this tool in tandem with other uh, tools uh, of 3D code uh, to get the best results. And with a little bit of practice, you'll be able to create a uh, retopology for incredibly complex shapes like this curved high surface design.